Nityananda Maharaj. Uh, there is a festival coming on 12th November and it's called uh, uh, Anandeshwara Brahmotsa. Yeah. So it's going to be held from uh, 12th until 21st. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit uh, what is the meaning of that festival? Which deity is, go is going to be celebrated? And uh, I've heard that it's connected with uh, chakras. So can you tell us more about that? Sure, please? sure. Nityananda. And uh, as you know, Anandeshwara and Anandeshwari are the presiding deities of the Nityananda Dhyana Pitam wherever in the world. Our Swamiji says Anandeshwara is our boss. Anandeshwara is a form of Shiva and uh, Anandeshwari is the form of Devi Parvati, the universal mother. Of the Anandeshwara is the deity for Ajna Chakra and Anandeshwari for the Vishuddhi Chakra. And this Anandeshwar Brahmotsam, which we are going to celebrate on tw from 12th of November to 21st of November, is dedicated for Lord Anandeshwara, who is the king of the Ajna Chakra. And uh, on 12th of this November morning, after Panchagni Tapas, Swamiji will be hoisting the flag for uh, Anande Anandeshwar Brahmotsam. Actually, I want to tell you what a Brahmotsam means. Mm. Brahmotsam is a cel uh, means celestial celebrations. See, deities do not live in the plane where we live. Deities are there to uplift us to the plane where they reside. Okay, so that is why we do. We call it celestial celebrations, not just celebrations. Oh. It's just different from uh, our birthday party and their birthday party. Their birthday parties, which are Brahmotsam, it's not exactly like birthday, but their parties, their celebrations are in a different mystical plane. Um, so now Subramanya Brahmotsam is going on until 12th of November. And after that we will have uh, Anandeshwara Brahmotsam. So can you tell us why is uh, Anandeshwara Brahmotsam starting just after this uh, Subramanya? That's a good question. Uh, from this year onwards, Swamiji has said we will celebrate the um, Brahmotsam, the celestial celebrations for all the deities. It's unique for the Nityananda Vedic temples. Because in all the other temples, only the presiding deity will be having the celestial celebrations. But here, even though the presiding deity is Anandeshwara, all the other deities also have celestial celebrations because they are in the abode of uh, an incarnation in the Nityananda Dhyana Pitam. Deshwar Brahmotsavam, the main celebration day would be the November 21st, which is the culminating day of all the other pujas and rituals. And uh, on that day, November 21st, is the full moon day of this Kartika month or the Vrishika month of this Vedic calendar. In Vedic calendar, uh, we have both the lunar calendar and also the solar calendar. According to the solar calendar, it is the Vrishchika month and according to the lunar calendar, it is the Kartika month. The full moon day of the these two months of Vedic calendar will be celebrating the Kartika Deepam. I really want to tell one, explain one concept. Why this Kartika Deepam means uh, light? Why uh, light lamps on uh, especially on that day. Actually, the legend is that uh, Devi, the cosmic mother, landed onto the planet Earth as Parvati, the daughter of the king of Himalayan mountains. And after she landed onto the planet Earth, she did intense penance in the intense energy field of the uh, hill of Arunachala. And on this, exactly the new full moon day of uh, this Kartika month, she actualized her avataric mission. When she actualizes this av her own avataric mission, she experiences Shiva's energy also inside her and she becomes Ardhanarishwara. Ardhanarishwara means half male and half female. As Swamiji would explain, we are all born out of one uh, male parent and one female parent. So, we are all a combination of male energy and female energies. But because of the social conditionings, we forget, we miss the other side 
other energy of us and uh, we search it outside us but devi the cosmic mother being an incarnation she she is the one who gives a wisdom to everybody so she uh, awakens the shiva's energy within her and she becomes ardhanarishwara her left part uh, left side of her body completely becomes feminine and right side of her body completely becomes masculine and uh, as you see exactly here in the sanandeshwara temple in the place where anandeshwara temple is built this is the place where devi anandeshwari prayed to lord anandeshwara shiva and requested to reveal all the secret techniques of enlightenment for the benefit of the whole mankind she is a compassionate cosmic mother and uh, pleased by the selfless uh, prayer of uh, devi anandeshwari anandeshwara reveals all the 112 techniques of enlightenment which are then compiled as uh, vijnana bhairava and you know uh, because of this intense compassion that she radiated we celebrate her actualizing the shiva's energy within herself as uh, anandeshwar brahmotsav Uh, so one more question maharaj uh, how are you going to celebrate this uh, festival and uh, which vedic uh, ceremonies are going to be performed yeah nice see uh, during this anandeshwar brahmotsavam on november 12th swami ji will be hoisting the anandeshwar brahmotsavam flag and uh, after that daily we will be having rudra abhishekam for this anandeshwara linga and uh, on all the mondays will be having special very special abhishekam for anandeshwar and anandeshwari abhishekam is a sacred bath for the deity sacred bath for the uh, master and deity actually swami ji's energy residing everywhere in the uh, within the anandeshwara and also within this anandeshwar linga so whatever we offer it directly goes to the master and uh, who here gives darshan in the form of anandeshwara and we will be having daily rudra japa rudra is the vedic hymn which uh, ch- chanting which our masculine energy gets awakened intensely like how chandi the devi mahatmyam represents the sacred feminine energy this rudram rudram is also called namakam namakam means namaha 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 it will, there will be 300 namahas namaha means i am not i am not i am not it's a beautiful technique for enlightenment surrendering oneself to the divine so uh, everywhere uh, throughout the rudra there will be namaha 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 and we'll be chanting the whole vedic hymn uh, daily and uh, this will continue till november 21st and uh, on all mondays this the on mondays of this kartika month are so special for shiva everywhere throughout the world you will be able to see all the temples of shiva being decorated having special alankars and what not and we are, we are also having uh, special alankars for anandeshwara linga on the first monday of this kartika month we will be having the uh, vegetable alankar we will be decorating um the whole anandeshwar linga with all sorts of vegetables which will be a feast to our being more than our eyes and uh, the second day the so second monday will be second monday also falls into this within this brahmot sometime so we will be offering um flower decoration for anandeshwar linga and the third third and fourth uh, uh, man- mondays of kartika month we will be decorating um, anandeshwar linga with sweets and uh, next time with fruits so the four mondays will be grand and uh, we will be having um, ekadasha rudra homa on november 20th ekadasha means 11 11 brahmacharis will be sitting around the homa kunda and uh, rudra homa will be done this rudra homa is done to uh, awaken our masculine energy and also it intensely awakens the ajna chakra because shiva is the presiding deity for the ajna chakra 
who when you awaken the ajna chakra you become so courageous because all this ajna chakra is the your third eye when you are uh, when you awaken your third eye um, it means you awaken the awareness within you whenever there is awareness no pro- locking of muladhara chakra no locking of um, swadhishtana or any all the blockages in any chakra get released just because of the pure awareness that you radiate and on uh, the november 21st evening we'll be having this uh, trikartikai deepam the special deepam which is uh, which will be lit in, in the temple um, to represent the awakening of kundalini of devi and uh, her actualizing shiva's energy in the form of light and uh, after that 21st this is for 21st and after 22nd 23rd and 24th continuously for 3 days we will be having the float festival of anandeshwara in the vaidya sarovar generally we will be having only one float festival for after every brahmotsav for this brahmotsav we will be having three float float festivals and uh, all the ashrams and devotees will be really enjoying along with all the viewers of ntv and uh, we will also be performing daily rudra trishati archana to anandeshwara here rudra trishati archana is uh, doing the archana with the whole vedic uh, mantra for all the other archanas we will be using the names for doing the archanas from all the puranas but for rudra trishati we will be directly using the words of the vedas itself in uh, in rudra in rudram uh, there are 300 word 300 names where veda itself uh, um, does namaskar for the anandeshwara and like we all enjoy in the enjoy the life and uh, bliss and energy and we get transformed through uh, our master and uh, all these rich vedic rituals in this ashram i request you all the viewers of ntv also and all our devotees to participate in this uh, homas abhishekas and archanas and get benefited and uh, experience the energy bliss and trans- intense transformation within yourself and uh, be a part of the et- eternal celebration the nityotsava happening in this uh, ashram as swami ji says life is an eternal celebration and here we are celebrating our life eternally and, uh, we all request you to be a part of this anandeshwar brahmotsav and i thank ntv for uh, uh, giving me an opportunity to share this uh, my feelings with you may i share the bliss that i enjoy here with all the viewers of ntv thank you nityanandam Uh, I would like to I would like to thank uh, Maharaj for sharing all this knowledge with us because uh, I believe uh, as I do so many people wants to know what is the background behind all the ceremonies and uh, Vedic tradition and um, I'm really looking forward to all these uh, cer- ceremonies and uh, I I know it's going to be joyful in the ashram as it always is during celebrations so thank you one more time Vicky Ananda